Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to show you the process of making this custom gas cap that I built for my aluminum boat tailed speedster here. So, enjoy the video.
All right, so here's pretty much um, the finished gas cap, but the problem is that even though I tried to retemper this aluminum here, and this is 6061 aluminum, and normally it has that nice T6 temper to it, but once I welded this and heated it up to kind of use that aluminum weld to put it onto this flange here, um, whenever I heat it up like that, it gets rid of that temper and then the aluminum becomes a lot softer. It's the same principle as when I was heating up the body panels so that I could shape them more easily. And even though I put it in the oven at like 425 degrees for an hour, which is what I saw online is what you can do to get back that temper and then to quench it in water afterwards, it still doesn't really work because when I, I screw this on to the, the pipe here, it goes on, it's very crunchy, it's not smooth at all. And then once I tighten it up and then take it back off, um, it really chews up that those aluminum threads and you can just feel it. And then there's like lots of little aluminum flakes in there now. So this isn't gonna work. I need to do some threads here other than aluminum. So what I do have is a couple other fittings here. These are the same inch and a half pipe fittings in steel. So I'm gonna try to use these um, I'll have to take out this and I'm going to try to still use this nice aluminum flange I made for the top because I really love the look of this. So I'm not going to put all this effort to waste. But I got to use steel threads for this because I think that's the only way that this is going to be strong enough.
All right, so here is the finished gas cap. I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out, even after I uh, had to go back and make the uh, threads out of steel instead of aluminum like I had originally planned. But it wasn't that hard. This part here, as you saw, is just kind of like a steel cup that I made that bolts right in to the top of this, this cap here with those four quarter inch bolts right there. I made sure that they were all nice and aligned so it looks looks professional and similar thing on the gas tank here I just welded together these, these steel pipe fittings and then bolted it down to that aluminum flange on the gas, gas tank with those nice uh, brass screws right there and I, I like that contrast there and I might eventually try to maybe nickel plate these couple steel parts here just to prevent them from rusting but that, that, I'll figure that out uh, later on if you're wondering why I made this part so long, it's so that whenever you're taking the gas cap off, like after you finish unscrewing it, it'll catch itself like that instead of just like falling out. And I also built the vent into there too. You saw I drilled that little hole through the side right there and then a hole through the top that connects down into that. So that will vent the gas cap while, while the engine's running. So. That's all I have for you in this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna pretty soon start getting into, I think, the, the dashboard and the steering wheel in that area of the car. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.